Hey folks, good morning. I'm back, I'm alive. Uh, step one in how to start a limo company. Uh, research your local city hall, get a business license, go to irs.org.gov and apply for IEN number. This is the federal tax ID number. It's the business social security, if you will. Take the paperwork from the city hall, go to a bank, start a business account. Uh, get a credit card for the business, separate your life from the business life and you're gonna have an easier way down the road when it comes time to do your taxes. Most credit cards will just give you reports on what you spend on car maintenance, car washes, etc. clothes. Um, first step, that's the first step. Second step, if you don't have a ready to car and if you have good credit, research for, for one, black on black, uh, high-end if you want to start high-end start high-end uh, some states have different rules for uh, the registration California requires a commercial license plate so you can apply for a TCP uh, okay TCP before the TC before the car you, you have three months to complete all the applications in California California will, will give you seven or eight steps and they'll give you deficiency letters like uh, get a DMV pool notice which is a number to track down your driver's license and how many tickets you have and then the DMV communicates directly with the uh, Public Utilities Commission. Uh, other states have different rules just, get, get, just google it like what are the requirements to start a limo company in my state. Once you do that you know, you can get familiar, familiar, familiarized with the, buying the car if you don't already have the car. Uh, make sure you know if the car needs to be commercial or not. Anyways, uh, do the city hall thing. Once you get all that paperwork done, it's gonna feel good. And uh, get get a bank account with the business name on it, commercial account. And that's basic, and that's the cheapest way to start. There's another way you can uh, start an LLC. LLCs will help you along the way after five or 10 years, depending on how hard you work, because you can add partners, um, you can protect yourself, your assets, if you own a home, if you own many cars, you know, the LLC will protect you from any personal liability. Uh, having insurance already with the coverage they offer, it's a good way to start but it's really up to you. The LLC will cost you a little bit more. I'll leave links in the description on how to get one. I just used uh, Zoom. I, got, I started a few uh, LLCs before. But I still run my business as a sole proprietor. I've never had any problems. Uh, being to conventions and conferences, the, the lawyers for the insurance companies, they say people will go after insurance. They will not go after personal assets. And he kind of sounded very sincere. However, if you grow your business to be a multi-million dollar business, then you, you want an LLC. If you think you're going to get there, get an LLC. All right, good luck. I'll talk to you when I talk to you.